Hello again, uh, my name is Catherine Rutland. I am Clinical Director at Denplan, part of Simply Health. I wanted to update you again on um, a podcast. Um, thank you for those of you who've been listening. Um, it's good good to know um, that somebody is listening, so thank you very much. Um, and just on a few updates and what's going on. Um, as I've started before, I think my first thing would be, I hope you're doing okay. Um, I don't know about you, but sort of heading into this third week of um, the stronger messages around social distancing, um, somehow it's feeling a lot tougher and it seems to come in waves. So you have days when everything seems okay and and then other days when it just kind of really gets to you. So please take care of yourselves. Um, please do check in with your teams as well. I know many of them are furloughed and, and you're not in direct contact with them, but um, this is about well-being and, and making sure they're okay. Um, one of the things I've spoken to a lot of dentists in the last few weeks and um, it's been really interesting to understand people's frustrations, what's going on, people, the really, some of the really positive stuff that's going on as well, which is uh, really fantastic. Um, and I, I really, I'm inspired um, by those, those great communications with patients, with local communities. Um, it's, it really good, is good to hear and shows the best of the profession. One of the things though, that somebody said to me, um, when I was speaking to them and I explained a lot of what has been doing is um, that they said, well, actually, Catherine, you should be telling us that because um, I think the nature of me, for those of you who know me, is that I'm very much um, a detailed person and I like to have fact and I like to have a solution. And if I haven't got that, I somehow feel I shouldn't tell anybody in case I don't get to that solution. So, but actually maybe in this case, when people think that, um, uh, we we aren't doing anything as a team or whatever it is. Um, it it might be important or it feels maybe important to to stress that that my team is constantly working. As you know, I'm um supported by a fantastic uh team um office based team, but also a team of uh, practice advisors and dentists across the country. And the amount of information that is being fed into me constantly, um, having conversations with defence organisations to understand the position, to understand from the BDA what, what their positions are, um, and even the CQC. It's really important to understand across all the jurisdictions what is happening. And that that takes communication and and, and really getting to the bottom of, of what is happening. On top of that, another part of my role is is hugely to be involved in any uh, have a dental input into any of the business decisions that's occurring, um, and those can be very complicated. Um, they take legal process, legal issues. Um, it's it's not easy for us to change tack or to do something. Um, and um, I'm very much part of and involved in those discussions. So. There is a lot going on um, and all of these things take time and as further clarity comes in various different areas, um, then each of those things with this constantly moving um, situation needs to be explored and understood um, if we are to be able to provide a position. So that's kind of um, what my days are filled with. They are very, very busy, uh, I have to say. <laughs> I don't, in some ways, I don't think I've ever been busier Um and as I say, lots of communication from yourselves. Um, on the on the note of communication, I think it's it's been really great to to speak to people and have the ability to explain ourselves. And and I'd be really grateful. I think it's really important that that you ask us the questions you're thinking. Um, sadly, we do get the opposite side of it, and we see this um, in in so many aspects at the moment of. Um, and I think I referred to it in my first um, communication and podcast around about watching out for what you read and, and especially on social media, um, what you read and is it true um, and and actually um, making sure you understand whether it's guidance, whether it's information from us, whatever it is, um, that you actually go to the source and understand the source yourself. At this time, that is so important. If you're thinking of doing anything, 
at all at the moment um, in regards to any element of your clinical side. Um, please make sure that you read the appropriate jurisdiction guidance, that you um, read the guidance from the GDC and that you make your educated professional view of what you feel that that means and how that means you should behave. Um, so I can't reiterate that enough. Um, those guidance documents are there for you to read. Um, there's some great sources out there and you really need to make sure that you understand what you're doing if you're considering doing something else why and as I say if it's something that you think we're doing please speak to us um you know uh we're not that scary um and it, it is great for us to be able to explain our position uh because sometimes it's not quite white quite what people um say that it is on the that aspect as well, um, as far as your teams are concerned as well, make sure they're protected as well um, and they understand what you're thinking as, um, as the practice owner, if you're the practice owner or even as an associate. Um, really important or a practice manager, if you're listening to this, that your teams understand where it is. It's a scary time for them. But again, lots of lots of media groups. What's dentistry going to be like when this finishes? Will it be the same? What's going to happen? If you're sat at home on your own as a staff member, worrying and wondering what's going to happen in the future really important that you that you check in with them and make sure that they're okay um, and that they understand what your thinking is and and what's going on um, another thing um, I think to reiterate this week is like all businesses at the moment um, again I've alluded to it before we are working um, remotely our all of our uh, our offices all office-based staff, we are all working individually. And whereas for a team like mine that is quite used to having odd days working at home and so on, and it um, kind of are uh, used to communicating from that position, some of our um, very uh, sort of very customer focused faced teams um, are not used to that. Um, and they are in some senses um very isolated and they are also some of them without uh, phones um, and some of that is through confidentiality some of that is through systems and so much of our communication now we have been trying to move to email and live web chat and that's for both you and for your patients contacting us and please have some forbearance with us on this um, we um, are the same as everybody else in fact um, I know of plenty of companies where you can't get through at all um, whereas our turnaround rates on emails and so on um, we are trying to get to those um, within a few hours or so and respond to people so um, rest assured that we are still communicating with your patients it might be in a slightly different way um, and it might take a little bit longer than normally just sort of answering a phone call um, but these situations have driven us to um, into different situations that as I say we're not only the only business very challenged by that so um, that's really important. Um, the last thing I want to say is um, just around um, like you to have a look out in your um, inboxes for your work email for on Monday. Um, I've alluded before that we've got a series of webinars coming up. Um, they do start next Tuesday, so it's very tight timing, but we are not putting the information out until Monday. Um, so I just want you to all have a look. Um, they are an amazing, amazing uh, range of speakers um, and it's uh, a CPD. Um, they're live recording, uh, sorry, live um, not live recordings obviously that doesn't go together um, but they are they will be live um, up to uh, three a day so um, to give you something to really focus on your CPD they will be some of them will be very team focused uh, so you can get the rest of your team involved so please do look look out for those on Monday um, all the information registration all that kind of stuff will all be in that um, and it's just a, a, a nice positive thing to do. So on that note, I think I'm going to say uh, goodbye. I've carried on long enough. Um, I really hope um, in some shape or form you manage to have uh, a, a nice, restful, long Easter weekend. Um, I know I certainly feel like I really need it. Um, can I ask on that note that you respect our teams, especially our field teams, over the weekend? Um, 
we do all need a break. Um, we can't be on call 24 hours a day. Um, and so please respect if you don't get uh, responses back um, over this long weekend um, as you would want them. Um, but but we do all need uh, we do all need to look after ourselves at this time. So have a lovely weekend. Um, don't know whether it's going to be sunny or not. Let's hope a little bit somewhere in there and keep safe and keep well.